Welcome to Big Vlog. In Big Vlog, we go to the Netherlands while Getge bikes 140 kilometers to meet up with us. Enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Saturday the 25th of June, and yesterday was my last exam of the year, hopefully. That means that it's officially vacation time, which is absolutely amazing. And I've decided to start off the vacation by taking the longest continuous bike ride that I've ever done. 130-ish kilometers from here to Arnhem, which is where my family will be camping. Okay, so this is where we are standing. Um, Gerke is packing up his bike, we're packing up the car. We've got stuff in there, and there's more than that. I have to carry down lots of stuff to put into the car and pack it for the journey tomorrow. Yeah, it's already packed and there's so much stuff that needs to come in here. This will be a bit difficult, but it'll be fun. I'm going to pick the mountain bike, but uh, in order for me to actually do a long trip on this, I have to, I had to make a number of modifications. Uh, first of all, I've added saddlebags, and that meant putting on a rack. The rack mounts that they give here are supposed to be mounted to these bolts here, but that meant that the rack was so far forward that my heels would hit the racks when I was pedaling. So I came up with this uh, creative, some might say sketchy solution here, where the mount is attached to the seat clamp. On the handlebars, I've installed a phone uh, mount, light, bell, and this cable here, which runs all along the bike here in this bag, where I will keep a power bank so that my phone can stay charged while I'm riding. Adding a dynamo would have been too much work, so I've not done that. It's also got a water bottle cage, a chain stay protector, and I've added a kickstand. All in all, this means that the bike is considerably heavier than before, but I think it'll make it much more comfortable to travel long distances. Okay, almost everything is packed in, and it's a lot more full. There's also stuff in here. But yeah, it's pretty stuffed right now. Lots of different stuff. Luckily, my parents are going to be bringing the tent and sleeping bags and things like that, so I don't really have to worry about that. I do need to bring clothes and a selection of items that I have on this table here. So we have a few things that you should obviously always bring with you. Keys, wallet, whatnot. Then a few journey-specific things, batteries for the lights, a power bank. This is the only item on this table here that I've actually bought specifically for this trip, but it'll be useful in the future, I'm sure. And then hand sanitizer, paper hankies, a spare bag. And a magnet in case I lose keys or something down the gutter. I don't know, is that overkill? Eh, let's bring it. Uh, on Monday, we can see that the wind is very consistently heading east, which is the direction I want to go. So I would have a strong tailwind, especially between 10 and 7 which means I could make good progress. I've spot-checked the entire route, I've modified it a bit, I've found one that's relatively straightforward. Uh, it looks to me like here around Utrecht uh, is kind of where the journey really changes, because up until here it's a bit tricky. There's a section here next to the highway, but it's not too long. I've managed to avoid this big stretch of highway here by going through some actually very nice uh, bike routes through the fields here, and then, yeah, this was a little bit tricky. I really didn't want to go past here, but this is some good roads in the field. Sometimes they can just be full of tractors and things, but from the looks of it, this looks all right. On Sunday, we drive to Germany while Gerke drives nowhere. It is now 11 a.m. and we've been driving for five hours. We're taking a small break. It is 2.30 and we're in Pilenhofen for the camping. So Gerke hasn't even begun the journey. This is the day before Gerke will start, and we've already traveled very far. We then made the tent using editing, 
Look at that. It's already we are done. done. We packed the tent. Here's a beautiful tour of the tent. Beautiful tour. It's a tent. On Monday we drive to the Netherlands while Gerge gets tired. It is 7.30 a.m. on Sunday, so today is the day where I actually have to do the biking. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also excited to get going. Let's put the stuff on the bike. Here's how it looks right now. Everything could sort of fit in, except this won't close because of the height of the... It is 8.41 a.m. and I am ready to go. Yippee! Okay, it is 7.32 and we've all woken up. And uh, today we go to the Netherlands and Gerke also bikes. Well I, I am going to cut this out of it, but your part. I know. The, the, your part specifically, just the moment you go, you just, The tent is packed up, now we just have to fold it down. Gerke just crawled, and so he's yeah. going to start now, and then we're going to start. So now the timer begins, I suppose. 8.26, but we're still in the camping. Okay, it is 9.11. Um, Gerke's been biking already for some time. We just finished packing the car. Look at that. Uh, yeah. After we finished packing and checked out the camping, we left an hour after Gerke left on bike. It's 10 a.m. I've done about 22 kilometers so far. Uh, it's feeling a lot of fun, but I've, uh, I'm really glad I changed that route on Google Maps, because look at this. It's amazing. It's quiet, empty, away from roads. It's a very pleasant stretch here, and it's going to go on for a while still. Look at how cool the bike looks. Even in Frankfurt it was getting kind of dark skied and grey cloudy, and near where Gerge was there were some tornadoes. I have 84 kilometers left of this 126 kilometer journey, which means I'm one third of the way there. Uh, so far so good, I think it's about 11 o'clock, and I've done a third of it, so... At the this rate it would take about seven hours if I keep up this pace, but obviously I'm going to start taking more stops as the day continues. After I was done ruining Gerge's clip, it soon started to rain in the Netherlands. Here's an update, and to give you an idea of uh, how badly this journey has gone wrong, this is what I now consider to be a very pleasant place to stop, because it is soaking wet out there. While Gerge was stuck, we were making good progress, but I did wonder what he was doing to kill the time. Wow, that's interesting. Though, to be honest, I'm just glad it's over. Okay, that's enough. I could have let it go on, but ah, here it is again. I am here at the camping, but now I need to wait for the others to arrive. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh he's Sweet. there! Working there. He, look at him. Gerge, I missed you. Don't leave her. Eh. I'm disgusting and wet. A bike over 120 kilometers is faster than a car over 600. Situation update. We have built the tent room with Gerke and he's going, oh. <laughs> That is the end of this vlog. There is a part two coming out about the trip in the Netherlands. See you then. Goodbye.